Holy shit, guys, it's not even been a week. It's not even been a week and they already did it again. Like, apparently with uh, using the, the... I was gonna say uh, uh, Gay Pride Day, but it's apparently a month now. And some some people are talking about a season. So it, it, it's not even gay. It's like LGBTQ plus, plus uh, whatever. So I guess that means you wanna, you know, you wanna bang a corpse or you want to bang a little kid, or you want to bang an inanimate object, like, you're, you're valid. You're, you're valid, and I see, I see you. I see you, my uh, non-gender-specific sibling. So apparently, using that excuse, Marvel has done it again. Like, you know, when, when you thought they couldn't fall lower than Black Thor, they come up with this, honestly. I, I mean, I'm not gay, but come on. Come on, gay people gay people watching this isn't this offensive like isn't this like the biggest most insulting stereotype you've ever seen and also i gotta point out that uh creator steve fox whoever the fuck that is huh? i don't care uh creator steve fox describes uh web weaver that's his name he's because that's a man right i don't know uh describes web weaver as uh fearlessly femme or femme so that means this this is feminine okay i want everyone who says that uh, gender roles are social constructs i want to i want them to pay real close attention this is feminine it's settled you know having your suede hips like this why won't my hips and suede remember when that used to be uh that used to be like that, that used to be considered sexist when a woman stood around like this in the Ultimates, I, don't, I can't remember his name, but he used to uh, like uh, copy a lot of porn and Playboy to draw the Ultimates. Uh, Steve McNeven, I, don't, I, I can't remember the name, but yeah, he used to do that a lot with his female characters, and it was considered sexist. But you know, when a man does it, when a man when a man adopts this usually sexist pose, and you give him like long eyelashes and shit, and like fucking I can't believe the neck, man. This is like some Miss Rottenmeyer shit from Heidi. I don't know if you guys have Heidi over there. It's a, it's an old Hayao Miyazaki cartoon. Anyway, so this is feminine now, okay? Gender, gender stereotypes, gender roles are a thing. This is feminine now, because that's that's the thing. You gotta, you know, as they as they told Zack, as they told your boy Zack, it's not enough that you created a gay character. It doesn't count unless that gay character you know, appears to be gay. It's it's like a surface thing. It's not enough for him to be gay. Like, you know, it, it, it it's not enough that, you know, how 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 would Spider-Man be if he was gay? Well, he would be Spider-Man, but he would be in a relationship with, like, Harry Osborn instead of Mary Jane Watson. No, 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 that's not enough. You gotta have him be like this, because otherwise it doesn't count, right? So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess... Uh, Taking that into account, I guess they should uh, design a Jewish superhero or maybe redesign uh, Moon Knight because he's Jewish, right? But I think I think he, they should probably re at least design, come up with a Jewish superhero and give him like a very, very long nose and a long beard and have him like uh, wring his hands constantly, like, you know, um, and, and have him laugh about how much money he extorted from the goy. You know, because that's, that's how we operate now, right? We operate with fucking offensive stereotypes. And apparently people are really cool with this. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. It's, it's time to stop, Marvel. Oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to stop. <laughs> anyway, uh, see you around.